government of Canada encourage people not to travel. They have created a lot of obstacles on the way uh, for Canadians to travel abroad, uh, especially for uh, leisure purposes, for, uh, for tourism. But still people need to travel, especially with our closest uh, country uh, that we share border with. It's the United States of America and many people in Canada, they have a lot of relatives there, they have uh, businesses there and uh, I had to travel recently. It was a business trip. I just want to share my experience and maybe some tips would be helpful for people who, uh, who will be in the same boat, who would need to travel would need to have a trip to the states for other countries it could be a little bit different i just want to share my experience with this uh, with this recent travel to the states so i was flying from toronto and in order to fly to the states you have to get a covid test here in ontario you can't use your health insurance in order to get uh, covid tested for travel purposes if you have symptoms you can go to shoppers drug mart or um, to the hospital and then you can get uh, tested but if you want to get tested uh, for travel you have to go to special lab and pay money for pcr test but i learned recently that you if you have a tickets already uh, you can book an appointment for covid test in uh, toronto pearson airport you can go online on toronto pearson airport website and there's a big banner advertising the covid test and you can book it and it's free so i booked the appointment uh, i was flying on saturday i booked an appointment for covid test uh, friday morning and they promised that you will get results within 12 hours so i went there there was a big line i was waiting in the line for about an hour to get uh, tested so i got my test and i came home and uh, i got results within uh, about four or five hours so it was even quicker than i was uh, expecting uh it was negative so i was fine and next day in the morning i went to the airport to fly and you know i was expecting that the airport uh, um, that the flight would be f half empty uh, the airport was uh, in toronto airport was quite empty i haven't seen airport that empty in, never in my life before that was nice i passed the security pretty quick and, uh, there was a few people ahead of me and that was fine but when i came to the gate i was surprised how many people was at the gate so a lot of people were flying the same flight that i was flying the flight was from toronto to dallas and then from dallas i had to fly to arizona i had to fly to phoenix uh, so the flight was packed they were even offering money to people who would like to give up their seat on this uh, plane so that was a big surprise for me when i came to dallas uh, it looks like a big hub and there was a lot of people in Dallas airport and then another flight from Dallas to Phoenix was also packed um, we didn't have any empty seat at all uh, you had to wear mask of course during the whole flight during your sitting in the airport you had you have to wear mask everywhere in the States but um, I noticed that um, um, they uh, they are approach to wearing mask a little bit more casual than here in Canada not as strict as um, the people doing here um, anyway, uh, airports were packed, uh, really, really packed. And um, when I landed in Arizona, uh, in Phoenix, the airport in Phoenix was also full of people. So that was a big surprise. Then I spent, I spent time there in Arizona. It was nice, uh, warm, super warm, um, nice place. So on the flight back I did the same I, I was looking for a test because uh, in, in order to get into Canada you have to get tested as well uh, different tested that you can get in order to get to Canada PCR is, uh, um, is like I think the most common the most um, safer to do and I, uh, I was looking for a place to do a test in Arizona to do a test in um, Phoenix and I found that uh, probably the best way would be to 
go again to go to, to the airport in uh, uh, in uh, Phoenix and do the test there because there they have like a walk-in uh, option you can walk in and you can do your test without even booking an appointment uh, as a matter of fact you can book an appointment as well but uh, you can just walk in and you, they'll do the test for you uh, with no problem so I went there I did my test uh, I did the rapid test Canada is accepting this one also it was really quick I had four people in front of me I was waiting in line for about maybe half an hour then I went inside they did my test it cost me 200 uh, American dollars for this quick test to get the result faster so I got my result within 20 minutes they they said that about 40 minutes you have to wait but I got it uh, even faster so I got my result it was negative everything was fine um, the, an, another thing I want to mention, I bought um, insurance before traveling to the States. We always buy insurance when we travel to the States with family or for business. Uh, just in case, I'm, I buy a regular uh, like uh, health um, travel insurance. But uh, this time I bought something, uh, I bought regular one and plus I asked them add, I asked my company, my insurance company to add um, special COVID um, insurance. So in case if I get tested positive and I will have to stay there for 14 days or 10 days or I don't remember which how many days you have to stay in the States if you have got uh, tested positive um, uh, so I ask uh, for this extra insurance uh, and that would cover your uh, stay uh, your staying in the hotel so you don't have to pay uh, out of your pocket if you um, Got, if you get tested you would need to spend some time in some hotel somewhere to uh, be isolated in the quarantine this special COVID insurance covers this uh, supposed to cover these uh, expenses uh, thank God nothing happened I got my uh, negative result so I was okay to fly and before I was flying to the States that's the important thing I knew that when you fly into Canada you have to stay in the hotel uh, for three days uh, while you um, uh, waiting for the result of your test which you will supposed to, which you're supposed to get at the border so uh, you have to have your test before entering Canada then you have to get another test right after you enter Canada and you have to wait for this test result in the hotel that will that's most annoying part for most people because you have to spend your money two thousand dollars to stay in for three days in the hotel and that's not like luxury hotel it's just a regular hotel which government choose for you i didn't feel safe to stay in a hotel with a uh, lot of people that i don't know uh, i better spend this quarantine time at home and uh, so uh, the option i choose to fly to buffalo and then because we live in Toronto area so uh, I choose to fly to Buffalo and then I just took, took uh, an Uber to get to Rainbow Bridge and then at the Rainbow Bridge is just cross the border on my foot a lot of Canadians do the same thing right now uh, as a matter of fact it was at almost um, midnight when I was crossing the border and there was another person with me another Canadian who was trying to get home my wife met me uh, with the car and we drove home safely so I'm still in a quarantine at my this is my 11th day in the quarantine and I'm waiting for the day that I can be uh, that I can go out finally so um, what's uh, the deal with the crossing the border at the crossing uh, there was just one officer when I was crossing the border people say that sometimes they have like a big tent with uh, people who give you tests and they can test you right away at, at the place right there but I didn't see it probably because it was night and nobody was there nobody was working just one officer was there he was asking me questions where I coming from where I'm going where I'm gonna spend my quarantine do, you know, do I have a place in my house to have a quarantine we actually have a two kitchens as you know so I was perfectly fine to spend uh, time uh, like on my own and uh, he gave me two uh, kits of um, tests uh, one test you have to do right away when you come in home so I did it next day we came uh, in the middle of the night so I did the same day when I came home but just uh, during the day you have to book an appointment for doing the test and then you will have um, uh, on the screen you have a nurse who will explain you what to do with this kit how to take a test okay so you can go ahead and open up this too just open it put it down somewhere where it's not uh, by yourself the service called switch health uh, then to the same website on uh, switch health you will book a uh, purator that's gonna come and pick uh, your test up and bring to the lab 
it's all free, you don't have to pay for it. And then you will get notification when you, your test is available. And then you see, I saw it's a negative, everything's fine. So then during your quarantine, on a day eight, you will have to take another test. And um, the same, same way, you book an appointment, you have a nurse who will explain what to do, you do the, your test, you uh, book uh, your purulator, they come in and they grab and test. I still waiting for the result of this test. Yeah, this is the way what you, how you have to stay in a quarantine. Uh, again, if you live somewhere in an apartment, it could be harder for you. Uh, we live in a house and it's easier for, you to, for me to be isolated. And I can go on the backyard. Uh, that's an uh, advantage of living in the house. If you live in a, in a condo, it could be harder for you to spend 14 days on quarantine. So I, I advise you not to travel anywhere if you don't have to. If you don't have to travel, just stay at home for now, just stay in Canada for now, don't travel because it's uh, kind of a headache to go through all these uh, steps. Before entering Canada, I download the app Arrive Canada and then you submit all the information about your quarantine plan. And then when you're on quarantine, every day you will get notification on this app on uh, to submit uh, that you don't have any fever, any coughs and any symptoms. Uh, and they will call you because they were calling me a few times. Uh, they were calling me about maybe five times. I got the call from uh, Canada. It was a, like a robot call. It was, wasn't real person. And um, you just have to answer the questions they, they have, um, like yes or no questions. Um, and I got officer who came to check on me. Uh, the person came on a date, the same day that I was supposed to do my second test. He came, he was nice, we talked, he asked me how I'm staying, how, how is my staying at home, do I have uh, access to food, and, uh, and that's it. So, yeah, that's my experience with traveling from Canada to the States. Uh, I know my friends, they came to similar uh, steps, they came to a similar situation, and um, that's not fun actually. I didn't want to go, but I had to. Uh, I'd rather stay in Canada and I'd rather not to go through all this headache, but I had to and um, that's my experience. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it was informative. Uh, please uh, leave your comment down below if you had any experience uh, similar. If you had to travel somewhere from Canada, um, that would be nice to, to see uh, other people experience. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye now. Stay safe.